Hi everyone, this is Lentia, your lenticular expert on YouTube. In this video, I will show you a simple way to make a true 3D lenticular print. We also have another video about pseudo 3D lenticular print. The difference between true 3D and pseudo 3D is that a round object will be perceived as round on a true 3D print, but will be viewed as flat on a pseudo 3D print, although there is a distance between the flat objects. Before proceeding, I assume you know how to do a pitch test. Please watch our video about the pitch tests if you haven't done so. A pitch test is very important to create a good 3D lenticular print. Let's use a 40 LPI lens for 3D as an example, and assume through the pitch test we have found the true LPI is in fact 40.20 LPI. We will use this number when we set the resolution of our image later. To create a true 3D lenticular print we will need to take some pictures along a straight line. The pictures are called a lenticular sequence. You can either use a dolly, for example, the three dependable lenticular photo producer, or a slider, or simply take the pictures if you can hold the camera in a position stable enough. If you trust yourself without the help of any apparatus, Try to use correction software to adjust the pictures so they appear to be taken perfectly horizontally. Ideally, you should take at least 10 pictures along a straight line. But we are going to take just 5 pictures in this tutorial to simplify the explanation. Once you understand the principle behind why we do what we do, you can easily apply it to other numbers of pictures, be them 10, 15, or 20. Before continuing let's talk about what good 3D construction is. A good 3D scene should have a foreground, middle ground, and background. We can always put an imaginary picture frame to our scene. Anything that is in front of the picture frame will be the foreground, anything on the same plane of the picture frame will be the middle ground, and anything behind the picture frame will be the background. On the plane of middle ground, we will need to find an easily identifiable point so we can align all the pictures in the lenticular sequence to this point. The tip of the roof ridge seems to be a good candidate in this case. Let's roll up our sleeves and go take some pictures. There we have, the five pictures. Let's load them into Photoshop and stack them as layers in a single file. For the sake of explanation, I will rename them as layer 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In this set of pictures, we can choose the New Zealand flax as the foreground, the bicycle as the middle ground, and everything behind the bicycle as the background. The first thing we need to do is to align a point in the middle ground as a focal point. Let's use the bicycle chair as it is the most identifiable point. Using Photoshop we can lower the opacity of a layer on top of the other to move the picture so the bicycle chairs in both pictures are in the same position. Revert the opacity back to 100% once this is done and repeat this for other layers. Crop the pictures to get rid of the empty space because of the alignment. Okay, we now have all we need to do the interlacing. Before we do that we need to set the correct resolutions. Remember the pitch test result of our lens is 40.20 right? Since we have 5 pictures so under each lenticule we need to put 5 stripes and each stripe maps to 1 picture. If we allow each stripe to have 2 pixels, then there will be 10 pixels under each lenticule. Since in 1 inch we have 40.20 lenticuli so we should set the resolution of our picture to 10 times 40.20 equals 402 dpi. Let's do that in Photoshop. Define a print size and set the resolution to 402. With the resolution set properly we can start the interlacing process. First, let's create a 10 pixel by 10 pixel image and fill it black. Select the first two pixels from the right and delete them. Select all and define this as pattern 1. Fill the square black again and delete pixels 7 and 8. Select all and define this as pattern 2. Repeat this by shifting the empty two pixels to the left and defining the corresponding pattern as pattern 3, pattern 4, and pattern 5.
Come back to our source file. Select the Paint Bucket tool from the toolbar and choose Pattern from the Fill Bucket pull down. Open the Pattern pull down and click on the small setting icon to choose Large List. Select Layer 1, create a mask and fill the mask with Pattern 1. Select Layer 2, create a mask and fill the mask with Pattern 2. Select Layer 3, create a mask and fill the mask with Pattern 3. Select Layer 4, create a mask and fill the mask with Pattern 4. Select Layer 5, create a mask and fill the mask with Pattern 5. There you go. The interlaced image has been created. Merge the layers, go ahead print it and then laminate it with a lenticular lens. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful please press the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. Leave us a message if you have questions. See you next time.